Today's video is going to be talking about some of our first uh, lessons in our geometry unit, and we're going to be investigating lines, line segments, rays, and then also talking about um, parallel lines and intersecting lines. Um, to start out, let's first talk about the ray. Um, the ray is a line that has a distinct endpoint or starting point, and it will continue on in the other direction forever. And same thing with a line. With a line, it has, instead of an endpoint, it will go on forever in either direction. Now both the line and ray kind of have to use our imagination because obviously it will go on forever and we wouldn't be able to see forever. But knowing what these arrows at the end signaling that it will go on forever in both ways for the line and the ray has an end point and will go on forever in one of its directions. Then we also have a line segment that has two distinct end points. Now when we label these usually there are letters at the end so this would be let's just say A, B, C, D, E, F. So if we are labeling it, it would be ray, E, F, line, A, B, and line segment. C, D. This is just a way that we can label our lines and tell what they are by these symbols. Now, let's go to a picture and see if we can actually pick some of these out. And I found this picture online of the Lakers Stadium. And let's look for a few of those lines. This one has, um, let's first look for a line segment. So if I started here and I would continue all the way to the other end of the court, it definitely ends over here. So it has two distinct endpoints, which would be a line segment. Now, as far as the ray or a line, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to need to use your imagination. So for a ray, we would have a starting point, and I would say the ray of light that's coming to the court. Maybe let's look at that. So a ray would have coming from the light source and coming to the court, and then obviously it would continue on forever and then a line um, obviously the same thing would have continue on forever in both directions so coming back now let's talk about what happens when lines intersect okay we have two different types of lines we have a parallel line which is in the same plane meaning that these two lines were the same distance apart and they're going on forever in both directions and then an intersecting line you have where they are intersecting or crossing each other and these two are going on forever in either direction. Now there's one other type which is a perpendicular line that crosses at a 90 degree angle and sometimes you can signal it with the little box but these lines cross at a 90 degree angle. Let's check out a few of these on the court. I always like the lanes. The lanes are parallel lines, obviously the same distance apart, and as they continue on in either direction. Another great example of parallel lines would be railroad tracks. Um, then for a perpendicular line where the midcourt and the sideline intersect, that is a 90 degree angle, and that would be a perpendicular line. And then I noticed up over in this area we have a few perpendicular lines where it's crossing and they're not quite at a 90 degree angle. Another example would be right here if we continued here and here. They're both a little less than a 90 degree angle so they would only be intersecting and not perpendicular. Now for your assignment today, notice how I had done some of these in the court. Our classroom is full of line segments, parallel and perpendicular lines. I want you 
and intersecting lines. I want you to either use our flip cam, a camera, or you can find these objects and draw a picture of them. Those three options. I want you to find those around the room and either interview yourself next to that line explaining what you found and why it fits underneath that category. You take a picture of yourself and then write later we'll write down why you chose that line and why it fit underneath there. Um, and this is going to be a way for me to see if you can take what we've learned about our lines and apply them in our classroom. So 